yeah, so it really started with the lookouts, which I came up with when I was at Arby's. I was eating curly fries with horsey sauce at, uh, at Arby's. The very first idea was just fantasy Boy Scouts. You know, what if instead of getting your um, whittling badge, you got a manticore badge or something crazy? It seemed like that would be a lot of fun, especially if it had a really dark edge um, and was lethal, like was as scary as being a kid actually is a lot of the time. And so we came up with the idea of these Boy Scouts, we call them lookouts, out in the woods, and we had to figure out what this world was that they lived in. And so we started to flesh out the idea of the Irewood, which is like this magical world-spanning forest. A couple years later, I started working on this game. I didn't really have a setting for it, um, and Jerry said, why don't you set it in the Irewood? It's this huge world, and the only thing we have in it right now is really the lookouts. The more we thought about it, the clearer it seemed that it took place in the Irewood also with the lookouts and with the daughters of the Ironwood. I'm not a game designer by any means, but I had something that was pretty cool and I just wasn't really sure how to finally polish it, you know, like finish it up. And that's when we started working with uh, Lone Shark games. We, we, we needed Lone Shark. We needed Lone Shark to do it. We needed Lone Shark. We needed Mike Selinker. We needed Chad Brown. We needed Rodney Thompson. Um, we needed vets. Thornwatch, I've been working on for four years. Um, started as like a pet project of mine. Um, and eventually it got to the point where I just couldn't finish it. And so we started talking to Mike Selinker at Lone Shark. And they they came on, but they, they said they would only help us with the game if they got to the entire Ironwood, right? The entire wood. The entire wood. So Thornwatch is just the first game in the Ironwood Adventure series, which is going to be Thornwatch, Lookouts, and Daughters of the Ironwood. We've basically finished this game, man. No. Yeah. All right. Hey! So... I was just talking about you guys. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and launch it. Yeah. All right. All right, so the Thornwatch Kickstarter's Holy up now. Shit. <laughs> now you got to accept the rules. Fucking click, and then... Come on, click on the goddamn... What? You click. Click down. Launch it. Ah! No! Oh, no! You go fix that, goddammit. Fix it right now. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to talk later. We moved into the Penny Arcade building, and I went to Mike Krolik and said, I heard you have a game. Why don't you show it to me? And he said... I can't do that. It's not ready. I said, that's a great time to show it to me. And with Jerry and Mike and the Penny Arcade team, we created a game that was like being part of a comic book. I think it really feels more like a Mike and Jerry game than it was when we did work on it. You know that you're going to get amazing new directions when you take a world-class game design team and add it to some of the greatest storytellers in the world. I think the Kickstarter has surpassed our expectations by quite a lot. I mean, we knew that there would be people in the audience who would be very excited about it, and we knew that some people on Twitch would be excited about it, but we didn't know that there would be all this pent-up energy, people saying, finally, thank God, take my money. We wouldn't have launched this campaign this week if the Gen Con test hadn't gone well. I think it bodes really well for the rest of the Kickstarter and then for the game after that. How many of you guys remember this comic strip? The Lookouts comic. It was the very first one. A couple fans saw that and went and made something yeah, pretty amazing. They made, they made something incredible. Now, my favorite thing to do in a comic is to leave space, like conceptual space. I want there to be space in the Ironwood for people to find their own stories in it. 
So even as we're defining stuff, I always want to make sure that I leave gaps for them. And um, Redgate Films found a gap. They, they took something that we had made and we had loved and they loved it the same way. And uh, what they made is incredible. It's incredible. So Dave, David and Kristen from Redgate Films um, saw that comic and this is the result. Yeah. Enjoy. Now tell me, what is a basilisk?